Well, another episode of Jay Leno's Book Club. Remember, no self-help, no weight loss, just stuff that rolls, explodes, and makes noise. We're here with Barbara McQueen. She, of course, was married to Steve McQueen, and she's written a book about their life together. It's called Steve McQueen, The Last Mile Revisited. Uh, tell us about this book. I was with him the last four years of his life, and I always took pictures. So it's kind of a nice, family-friendly picture okay. book of the last the last part. These are all pictures you took? They're almost all my pictures. There's a few, obviously, that aren't mine. There's a lot of great car and motorcycle pictures in here, but a lot of personal ones as well. What's Steve doing in this picture? What's, what's Steve's happening? Steve's making mashed potatoes, and right here is Steve's favorite pork chop recipe, so that is a new Oh, okay, all no, right. It's good. It's deadly good. Are you surprised that 30 years later what an icon he's become? Did you ever, I mean, obviously you loved him and were married to him. But I didn't and, know who he was. When I met him, I thought it was going to be Paul Newman. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, as many movie stars from that era have faded or younger people go, who's that? Oh, I don't know who they are. But everybody knows Steve McQueen. And to this day, the legend seems to grow and grow. Did that surprise you? At first it surprised me a lot, but I've, we've been traveling a lot with the book and people in Europe, people in Japan. Sure. and. I mean, he was a really good man. He was a good man and he was true, true to his bikes, true to his cars, yeah. in the end, true to his, his airplanes. You know, I got to know him a little bit because Bud Eakins was a friend of mine and he and Bud, of course, are very close, but Eakins did the, was a stunt man and a triumph dealer and he did the jump and the great escape. And, There's a chapter on Bud in here. Yeah, and he did the, uh, he was the guy that slid the motorcycle and bullet, you know, by the gas station and all that kind of stuff. That's right. Yeah, and, uh, well, is this you guys having fun? What's going on here? One of the old, oh, it's an Ace. Yeah, we yeah. were on uh, in Trancas. I have an, that motorcycle like that too. I have an Ace, a 1924, just like that one. Yeah, you know, he was a very down-to-earth guy. He would always come to the motorcycle shops, mm -hmm. and he was never Steve McQueen, the actor. He was always well, just... He was seriously interested in it. I mean, he really went through right. the parts on the ground at the swap meets, and... and uh, he there he is, real. like a true gar car guy, washing his Hudson Hornet right there, yep. very good. And I think this one sold, sold yesterday, didn't it? Isn't this the... Uh, I, don't, I don't know if it sold I just yet. Know. I remember seeing it there. Okay. And, and you're a pretty good photographer. Is that what you did? Were you a photographer? Well, I was a model, but okay. you know, like I said, every model always has a camera. Right. And uh, I just love it. So it was just something that I did. I had no yep. clue there this was going to be so special. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it really didn't. But it just turned out to be pictures that nobody else has. They're not press pictures, they're not movie pictures, they're just down-home pictures. Now, were you a car and motorcycle and airplane person before you met Steve? Yep. Oh, you were? Oh, yeah. I was oh, born on okay. a dairy farm. I love grease and dirt and oh, very cool. anything that has an engine and brakes all So the how time. did you guys meet? What did you meet? I was a model in New York, and he saw a picture of me in a magazine. He made a call to my agent. I'm say, see, <laughs> see, I can't do that. Yeah, you I can. can't. See, I mean, that's can. that's the epitome of cool. You see a beautiful girl in a magazine. Oh, oh get me her number. So, did you know who he was when he called you? No, I, my, because I haven't seen any of his movies, and I still really, really? haven't seen. I've seen Blob and the Tower, uh, Towering Inferno. Okay, Blob, you're not going to get him, I don't think. I don't think you're going to watch the Blob and go, yeah, that's the guy for me. Well, maybe you did. Well, see, the guy that was the movie star guy, the actor, and the the man are two different people. Right. So. Is that you on the cover of Cosmo? Uh huh. Oh, there you go. That's all right. Cool. Look at that. Way back when, but yes, yeah? it is. Yeah. And is this was the picture that he he liked. That one. Go okay. Figure. That's not. That's the, best the picture, picture he liked. It's not my best. I can angle. see why he liked that. Uh, that's a guy thing. You know, all the Steve McQueen books we've seen lately have been mostly just about the cars and the motorcycle. And this is about his life and your life with him together, right? Yeah, it's just, it's just a quiet little book. It's nice for your grandkids. It's nice for, you know, anybody. It's an yeah. easy read. Lots of photos. And um, it's from the heart. Yeah. There's no trash, no nothing bad in here. And where, where, where can they get this? Is it available everywhere? Do you have uh, a website? This is the brand new one, so this is just coming out. But DaltonWatson.com, you can get it. Mm -hmm. And I have my website, which is BarbaraMintyMcQueen.com. Okay. And it's available there, too. Well, very good. So. Well, if you've got all the other Steve McQueen books, you have to get this one. It just this fits in. And there's, I'm sure there's a lot of pictures in here that have never been uh, seen before. Is that correct? Well, they sat under my bed for 25 years. Nobody had ever seen them. And yeah. Somebody said, oh, my God, you okay, have to get those out. There's this plane right there. One of three. That's the uh, yeah. mail plane. Yeah, very Thank cool. You. Yeah. Yeah, he was out at uh, Santa Paula Airport. We lived in an airplane hangar for a couple of years. Yeah, yeah, I've been out to that hangar. There you go. That's, you can tell he's a real car guy. That's, that is not a collector truck. 
although it is now. Okay. Now it is. Okay, the tail end of this truck sits outside of Fairfield, Idaho. Oh, is that right? Yeah, you still have it? No, I don't have it. I yeah. parted, parted it out. Of course, there's his famous, uh, there's a car, that Jag, the XKSS. That's probably a five or six million dollar car now. Well, very cool. The book is called Steve McQueen, The Last Mile Revisited by Barbara McQueen. Well, good luck with it. Thanks hey, for thanks, sharing that. Thanks cool. very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. And you're still beautiful. Oh, gosh. I think you'll still be getting <laughs> phone calls. Oh. <laughs>